YouTube, you guys. It's Mary. And um, you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below, y'all. Today we are going to be talking about 90 Day Fiance Part Three of part the four. Part this Four the of the Tell All. Yes. yes, it is the last part of the Tell All. And Jovi and Yara, mm -hmm. she had her breasts done, yes. and this fool goes to South which Africa actually, for which a looks safari. Really nice. It looks, it looks like it's been done very nice. Yeah, I mean, she looks great. I'm very happy she got it done and everything. Yes, but the fact that he Angela's, Angela's doctor <laughs> as well. My issue is she went south, uh, he went to South Africa on a safari, which really was not necessary. Mm -hmm. I know Liz was talking her bota bata, which honestly, you should not even be talking. You're in relation with Humpty Dumpty. Don't even look my way. Mm -hmm. I just felt like... He should have been there for his wife. Yes, his mother was there, but I just feel like this this whole entire tell all really made me see Jokey. how childish he is, yeah. how much of a man child he is, yeah. and how much he really just does not give a shit about Yara. You know what I'm saying? I just or about see, his mom. He's very, no, very selfish. Very like, selfish coming he's at so her. so entitled. That was the word I was like, yeah. enable. No, he's entitled. Well, she's enabling his entitled behavior. I don't think so. Because I remember from the beginning when Jovi said he wanted to go get married. And I remember the mom saying that you are not like responsible enough. Like you are not, you know, you're still like mentally he hadn't grown. The mom had said something. That either he wasn't really fit to get married right now. It's not that she had anything wrong with Yara. It was of Jovi. Yeah. You know? So he seems very entitled. I don't think he because he's enabled by his mom. I think she it's is, just that the though. mom wants the to is, help him. No. That's the issue. It's enabling. It has gone and married somebody in a foreign country. You've already told them they're not fit to. Yeah, of course, you cannot stop your child or whatever. Yeah. But if he's coming now and he's, like, trying to expect you to be a full-time babysitter, I am actually don't care. I know. You have decided. You went and decided to marry a foreigner. You cannot sit down here and expect for me to be a full-time babysitter for you and your wife and your child. I don't care yeah. if I am the grandmother. That's not my job. No, it's You not. did not come and consult me at all. You actually did not even care what I have to say yeah. when you decided to go marry her. So yeah. this is your decision. Go hire a babysitter. That's what but I'm saying. But you want to come and get mad at the mom because Yara is putting pressure on you. She's putting pressure on you, not the mom. But the exactly. thing is with him, he Probably doesn't want to yes. actually take accountability. No. He doesn't want to make himself uncomfortable at all. No. No. So he decides, let me put pressure on my mom. Let mm -hmm. her be doing more work. Mm -hmm. More work that really is not her job. No, it's, it's your not. job to be a full-time husband and a nanny if that if need be. Yeah. You are gone for more than half the year. I know, <coughs> four months at a time. <coughs> so, of course, you can sit down there and be like, oh. Of course, you yeah. can sit down there and be a present father when you're there. You know why? Because you're not there more, more than half of the, of the year. year. That's I why. Know. So, I'm sorry, I had to get my point out. I was about to choke and die to get my point out across. <laughs> well, you did a very good job. But you know something? It's just ridiculous. My thing, this is what I think. I think Yara, and the reason why she's putting pressure on him, she probably wants and she needs a babysitter. Yeah. But I can see Jovi being one of those men who say to her, I don't want anyone watching my child except family. So, yeah. and that's just his way, and like Andrea was trying to say, of trapping her, which I, I really, I'm just looking at Andrea with a side eye, because he, he's like a snake with a Very forked tongue. Very two Exactly. Two One moment he's saying this, the next moment he's saying that, opposite of what he was saying. Anyway, I just feel like Jovi's one of those people who'll be like, no, I don't want a babysitter who's not family. Well then, if that's the case, Stop being gone four months in the year. And he's like, I make good Six money. Six months. Six months. He was gone for four months well, at yeah, one time. Well, yeah, he goes four months at a time. Which, I, at first, when he was first together with Yara. It was one it was, month he was it there. Was like, uh, it was like, he was he was there for a month, oh, two months. And then he'll be back he'll for be, a month. Yeah, he'll be gone for two months and then he'll be there for a month. Right. Something like that. Right. Now, I was shocked when she said on one of the episodes that he's gone for four months. A whole four months like what is that you're not even an army <coughs> no like you're not even fighting for people's freedoms you're a fisherman like I think I don't know what he does but he said he's making good money which is all well and good but she has two businesses that she is struggling that is she is like, in his name crazy because she didn't have her papers which was also red flag 
but you know all the money goes i guess into their joint account but my thing is it's not like you guys are like really struggling for money get a babysitter that's not your mom and let your mom be able to enjoy her time as a grandma so it's not like this is something i have to do and then he has the nerve to yell at his mom and get in some huge fight with her because she not pulling he her was weight. gone for i don't know however long he was gone and she didn't come by like she's 57 she has a life and she has to drive you expect her to come three times a week drive two hours to go two hours to come back it's not like you guys are even saying to her hey come and stay for a week she got to drive right back and she has a life. And I don't know if she has a my husband. Is, I don't know. But I feel but like it's my enabling goodness. behavior. And I say the mom's an enabler. I, I, I like, yes, she does say that. Maybe like, that's why she stayed away for two months. For them to understand, I am not your babysitter. But even at that, he got up, gets upset and wants issue, to argue with her. The mom is an enabler. And this is, I have a huge issue with parents that enable their kids. Because you're doing a huge disservice to the child. Like, you are now going to go buy property like this man has guilt tripped you so much i know that you are now going to buy property to be closer to him and he's now moving to florida oh i will be cutting like i will cut yeah. off my son like for at least a six months yeah. because it's foolishness yeah. you have been here yelling at me cussing me out because i have not been present as a grandmother or not been a well, proactive enough babysitter out, but they've gone into some big argument well we don't know the mom probably was protecting him. But I just feel like cursed her out, whatever, yelled at her. I just, I don't think you should be yelling at your mom. It's no. just, it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It so is. I just felt like he should not, I just don't think he should be doing that. Like just coming at her because she's not babysitting your child. That's your child. Right Take in... on some of the pressure. But yeah. he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to do no. nothing that to make him uncomfortable. Yeah. Like even Andre was like, what are you doing? Talking about she wants to have a second child. You're barely there now. She's going to be trapped with two kids. The, she can't depend on the mom like that because she has her and own that's life. that's really what he wants to do. But that's what he wants to do. And he probably doesn't have, want her working in those businesses because that's like her independence. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, if she had another child, she'll have to give up. The, because she has too much time on her hands. That's what he's thinking. She has too much time on her hands. That's why she's working so much. Yeah. If she had another child, then I can guilt trip her about being a good mom. Because you see how she cried when yeah. it seemed as though people were getting on her about not being a good mom. That's not what they said. But that's how she felt. I can see her guilt tripping her. Let her have the two, two children. I mean, look at you, you know I'm gone. And you married me knowing I have this job. And now you are working, you have two children. Like, what mother does that? And then she will stay home. My thing is, this is what I mean by men will suck the ever-living last life out of you. She is looking very drained. I know. Mentally, emotionally, and physically. Yeah. When she first came to America, she was looking very fluffy, and very light, very fresh, yes. and was not looking haggard. I know. Now she has lost weight beyond what nerve. actually would look great on her. Yes. She looks better with a little bit of meat on her bones, yeah. but she looks so drained. I know. And just exhausted. Like she's like has her shoulder like almost I looking know. like Liz. Like you know how Liz kind of like looks yeah. like this all the time? Yeah. Like even she's looking like that. But you have yeah. this man, this he man beats child. Her down. You're hardly at home. And you have the nerve to have you know, nothing uplifting to say when you see her. It's like he pecks at her because he knows he's out of her league he from is. the beginning. He, everyone knows he that. He knows that he's the ugly one in this relationship. I don't give a yes. damn what Liz says. Yes. Or, or Angela, Angela says. You, you mean, guys, both of you just you guys are not that easy on the eyes anyway. So just <laughs> you do not know what looks good if they exactly. hit you Anyway, <laughs> okay, that's the shade. That's the shade. Shade. Just trolling. But you but, know, I mean, really, like he he's not model that. potential at all. I'm and, like Angela, please stop lying, because you are there dating Michael, to, and Michael ain't nothing much to look at either. Try to lift him up, I guess. I know but she is, is pretty. Is. She is more pretty than he it is, is handsome. What, yes, and, and so it's I true. think that this man he pecks at her. Even Andre was he's laughing. He's like a little pecker. He's like this little pecker, this little chicken. He knows she's out of his that league. That continues he to knows. peck, peck, peck at Yara, and he tries to find any little thing to make her feel like crap, because I think he feels falsely in his mind. If I can make her feel like shit, she'll stay. 
she will stay. She'll think but she's Yara not said he does a lot of stupid things that he apologizes for later. And that's why she wants to leave you. And I really think that she does want to leave him. Absolutely. I really think she does want to leave him. And yes, Yara, go ahead and get something for yourself. As, especially when everything is in his name. Go ahead and get something for yourself. Even if you have to put it in your mom's name or your daughter's name, whatever. Put it in your mom's and your daughter's name, whatever. That way it's like a gift for your mom. And he has no hands on that when you all divorce. I personally like, it's ridiculous. believe. And I hope you left that 200000 in the bank in Europe and did not bring that with you to America. I think all women, I think all women should have a backup plan, an escape plan. I think so. Even if you are in an amazing marriage, Blissful marriage, you should have something that is your own. So if things go up shit's creek, you can get out. You mm -hmm. never want to be in a position where you are completely dependent on a man and you have to literally and you're, and you you're have stuck nothing because you have nothing. That's go not on. good for women at all. No. You cannot trust a man 100 percent you on. really can't because no. you can't trust anybody 100 no. percent because you don't know them you yeah. don't know what they're thinking you don't know how they're changing in life or whatever the case may be exactly. this man might be in love with you infatuated with you and one day he might get up one day and just hate you for no reason and starts treating you like crap that goes both ways mm -hmm. so i do think everyone should have a backup plan mm -hmm. everyone should have an escape plan mm -hmm. and i think it's also good for men to know that you have it you know mm -hmm. why so they keep it keeps them on their toes no i don't think it's good for them to know you have it well, not so like for real, for real. Divorce, but they should know that at least no you are not completely dependent on had. them. No, they don't need to know the whole plan. They don't need to know but they should thing. be able to know that this woman, she has her own. You know what? You know what is very interesting? Men always know by looking in a woman's eyeball. When she's what, ready to leave. Whether she is going to put up with shit or not. They usually know. Um, but they try. This little peck, peck, pecking. And, you know, and a lot of men who, the men who do that are the ones who are insecure. Like, Jovi is very insecure. Very. He went for this girl who was beautiful. Completely out of his league. And, you know, then only to be pecking at her really from almost the very beginning. Yeah. You know, you are here arguing with your mom to be your babysitter. And then have the nerve. Like, this is how I feel. With the whole... And I think the mom is right. You were going to a safari. Yara wanted to do her surgery. You guys should have talked about it to see when's the best time for everybody to get things done. Right. You know, so that you are there with her when she's doing her recovery. And I think that was what the mom was trying to say. You know, but it's like you went on safari. You expect your mom to fill in the gaps. And Yara was there trying to cover for Jovi. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I want my husband to be happy. Yeah, because when he's not happy, he puts so much stress on you. Yeah. And makes you very miserable because this absolutely. is how he is. Yeah. You know? And it's unfortunate that she yeah. has a man child for a husband. And that he still is going to these strip clubs, even though he knows how she hates it. And I was wondering when she said... You know, um, Jovi does a lot of things, a lot of stupid things, makes a lot of mistakes, and then will apologize. I wonder if he was has also been cheating. I wonder. I wondered thing, about that too. I just don't think this marriage is going to last. He knows that as well, mm -hmm. and I feel, and I'm hoping and praying that Yara continues to do what she needs to do. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Even though she has these Continue businesses in his work. name, you have your papers now. Get another business. That's add, not add your name. name to it. Yeah. Add your name to the businesses, and and obviously she had been squirreling money away because she had her two hundred thousand um, dollars, which I hope she left in Europe. Yeah, and still get your apartment, which she says she's still going to do. So she still just get seems that. miserable, you know. She and really I, does, and even the next day, and then this man had the nerve to be talking about. You should have apologized. You should have to apologized me. to me. But I want to quickly say something about Andre. Andre, when he sat down there, he was like, well, you know, it's ridiculous. Like, she wants to go and get an, um, um plan. An like, she doesn't want to be completely dependent on you. No, you sound like an actual idiot yeah. for saying that she should be completely dependent on this idiot of a husband. Mm -hmm. Why should she? She ha He has not proven himself to even be an ounce of loyal. He has yeah. not proven himself to be a man of stand-up character. He has no. not proven himself to be somebody who actually loves her unconditionally. Yeah. Usman, shut the hell up. 
Ain't nobody ask you for anything. Why are you talking about a situation? Like, I know it's your culture or whatever, but that is a, that leads to women having to be trapped in relationships they don't want to be in. And women should not have to be trapped. No. But men like the idea of a woman being trapped. She'll mm-hmm. never leave me. Especially a beautiful woman. I know. And he knows every time she walks and out look, the door, he knows look, men are looking at her. And she's still young enough. To go and start a whole new life. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm so girl, do not let that man trap you. If I were you, I that would, I would be, I would I be popping birth women. control like my life depended on it. Mm. You know, or just ha- just have apps. T- <laughs> <laughs> we no, just, yeah, that's he'll be guilt tripping yeah. her. He'll be yeah. guilt tripping her about it. But my thing is, I think maybe Jovi has cheated or something. No, she didn't say. I wouldn't say. be surprised. Um, any man at a strip club because, is not up to any good. Because, you know, good. he could say, well, I was drinking. He has made that excuse before about how he's drinking, you know, and stuff like that. But, mm-mm-mm. I will not, I will not trust Joby as far as I could throw him. Well, she don't even trust him. I will trust not trust him. him. And she doesn't. And she, no. and, she, and she said so. Yeah. She said so. And so, a woman who doesn't trust a man, a man who continues to make mistakes... The stupid mistakes, whatever that means, that you have to apologize for later. How is she trusting you to go have another child with you? Yeah. When she can't even probably get a babysitter that's not family. And I the know. Prob- the the reason why he probably wants his mom to be the babysitter, you know why? Because if, if it's someone that she chose, and yeah, first of all, I will just get a babysitter. If that's what he's saying, you know, because when I don't know if he has said so. There, I would, well, be, I would I hire a babysitter. When he's out of the country, the I'll hire a babysitter. The reason why he wants his mom to do it. So she can be stalking her. And so that she will know where she went. Yeah. How long she was gone. Yeah. And then she will pass it on to Jovi. Because he will be calling. Girl, please get out. Get out. Get out, Yara. Get out. Yeah, I will not. Mm-mm. I will get a babysitter. babysitter. You know something, Jovi? You're actually not here. This is a good babysitter. She is, you know, whatever. She's responsible. I would tell many And that's things. what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let your mom... That's if he, if he finds out. Yeah, yeah. If he finds out. That's what I'll do. And just go on about your business. And don't call his mom, except when she shows up. I will only... I will have a babysitter... When he is out of the country or he's on Always. his job. Yeah. But when Always. he is there, I'll keep the charade of me using the mom. Yeah. That's what I'll do. But yeah, all but yeah. Um so it's, it's just a shame. It's just a shame. And I hate to see one thing, one advice I, I will say for women, when you get married, take a picture. Every month, take a picture. Yes. So that you can look and see what the world sees. Yeah. And if you're looking worst... <laughs> The this is, is probably not the relationship for you. And that's even when you're courting, you're dating, whatever. Take a picture. Take a picture. You know, just take a picture of your face and then take a full body picture. Yeah. And every month, take a picture. Absolutely. For the rest of your life. Absolutely. So that you can see what has happened to you through the years that other people see. Because sometimes you don't even realize how you're being broken down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I think that was it with Jovi and Yara. Yeah. After that, the reunion was over. So then they had the whole behind the scenes thing or whatever. I love the fact that Jenny told off who loved her telling off Ed. Yeah, I get so tired of Ed. Like, he just needs to shut up. Like, you I mean, I I, I was with him the way he was talking about women having so hard. And then I had to remind myself, Ed, there's a woman sitting right next to you. That you keep on abusing. You don't even treat her like a damn human being. Like, okay. He says all these right things, but he's such a jerk. Because he is an abuser. He is a narcissist. That's how he got Liz. He was saying all mm, the nice, sweet things. Yes. Broke her down with his craziness. I'm not going to treat you bad as those other men did. All these, you're off a relationship. Only for him to throw it in her face in front of everyone. Abs- exactly. You've always been in dysfunctional relationships. Okay. Like, the problem is you. I personally do believe Ed actually hates himself. Every time he has to oh, yeah. lift his short ass in that car and yeah. he has to sit like this because yeah. he can't move his neck, yeah. he hates himself. He does. And he here hates he is, that he's woman. disabled. He's hate that he, how he looks. Mm-hmm. He just does not like himself. No. Understandably so. But, the, but and he's also not a good person on the inside. to be mean to other people? No. 
But that's you know, why I don't feel bad for him. Yes, he is disabled. Yes, he's not right or whatever. I actually don't give a shit. He's a horrible person. He's really and horrible. he just does not. He's, he, horrible. He, he's horrible. So, I mean, it's hard to feel bad for somebody like that. Mm -hmm. If he was a good person, then yes, I could be sympathetic. But I actually cannot be sympathetic to Ed. Because no. he is one of those people who hate themselves, but then they also make other people hate themselves. Yeah. And he abuses people. Yeah. So, I you have had a girlfriend who is willing to carry your suitcases. And I saw him pick up that suitcase. All this time, my back, my back, when he's with Liz. I never saw him doing that with Rose. Remember? I don't remember her carrying nothing for him. It but Liz carrying all this stuff for him as though she's a servant. And then you put her down, call her dumb, you know, make her feel like crap. You know, I'm just so, I really wish issue... Liz, I think if Ed had not left, I think Liz would have left with him. Because she was still upset that he had left without her. You I just know, hope Liz I you stay away for real. I actually just have, you know, there's a term that um, one of our family or friends used to call women like Liz. I'm not going to say it on here. Um, but it's just <laughs> she's not very wise. She's not very smart. No. You know? And, I mean, I could say she has low self-esteem, but how far does the low self-esteem go? Oh, before it can go really far. How far does it go before you are now just being, like, someone who has no common sense? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just oh. not being smart at all. Yeah. Like, you're here in a dress. Oh, he won't be able to take it off of me tonight. He bought I, it I bet you he can't even reach you to go and take it off. I'm sure his arms stop at your neck. So and I'm sure he can't take it off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, you saying all that. I mean, wearing a dress he bought you and you're like, oh, well, God. why am I always on his time? This is why I don't like, you know, he always doing this to me. How could he leave me? I was at some point, I, at, I am at her. this point in my life where I am actually sick and tired of hearing about Liz. I'm actually tired because this is a woman who has been broken up with, with somebody who looks like an egg on top of a hill. And she had just continued to stay with Humpty Dumpty. Mm -hmm. Like, I just can't empathize with her no more. I don't want to see her on the show next year, next season. I am going to petition oh. them to get her off the show. Because at this if point, it's you too have much. a new romance, girl. No, she don't that. need to be with nobody. She oh, yeah, needs to true. go get some damn healing. Yeah, that's Go true. heal what that's you true. got going on. Yeah. Because I can't relate. Yeah. I don't think anyway. We have all made mistakes in relationships. We have all right. put up with stuff that we should not have. Right. I have never seen something like this in my lifetime. Oh, well, I this, like, I have never seen somebody take so much crap from someone who looks like this for so long. And P. Diddy. <laughs> yes, the lady that's getting peed on. Oh, God. And it's you know, I'm sure he's it's doing six stuff with Liz, too. Yeah, the fact I that he was talking about three subs and are you gay or whatever, I don't think, I don't, anyway, I don't even want to get into that. Oh, I, I know, when he was trying to talk about, yeah, I think that he was trying to bring up that conversation, like, is she a lesbian? No, he was trying to have another woman in their relationship. That's what he was trying to do. It's just, it's despicable. Like, I just, despicable. I have no more brain cells to give to Ed and Liz. Yeah. My brain cells are fried. I know. Completely uh, yeah. fried and dried up. I am with you on that. I'm like, Jenny, you know, where in the world did you find this guy? <laughs> and you keep staying with him for what? You love him? Love yourself. I know. Love yourself. Yeah. That's all I got to say. I'm yeah. not even talking about her no more. I'm done. Because it's just, it's annoying at this point. It is, like, it's it so hard to feel sorry for her because mm -hmm. she doesn't feel sorry for herself. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about her for, what, three years now? I know. My God. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. What was I talking about? Uh, it was over. So it was over now. <laughs> they went. They met. I liked Angela and Kim talking. Oh, them getting along. Getting quite like Getting chummy. along. The only thing is I kind of feel like they both are going to give these men chances. You know what's so interesting? They both, what I liked about them that they were both vulnerable and honest with each other. I really love that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was like, you know, the thing is, girl, I was done with men at 50, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we meet these guys, and now I think this is going to be my happily ever after, and here I am. And she's like, yeah, that was me too. And I was I just know. like, wow. It's really interesting. They both think they're probably, and she, Angela thinks that Usman's going to come back. Honey, Kim wants him to come back. Because Usman's the one who broke up with her. Remember, she, she even said, she said that she was hoping that, that he, he took say, the ring and put it back on her finger. Yeah. 
She said she was still hoping. Kim, she's going to stay And that's why there. he said Usman is the one who broke up with you. Because we could see that that's what you were wanting. And then he, he says, did. this is the best choice. <laughs> no, she came back. And she was like, I don't want to break it with you. And he was like, please, you put down the yeah. ring. That's best choice. Yeah. He looked her up and down like, mm. why was I that's with you, yeah. son? As he walked away to his car and drove mm -hmm. off. He sure if he did. really wanted to be back with mm -hmm. her, he would not wait to reunion to get back with her. Yeah. He would have then got to back with yeah. her. But he doesn't want her. No. He don't want her. He never did. As I said before, Kim kind Jenny of forced right. herself on he him. He liked her as a person. That's what Jenny said. And Kim said she was upset that Jenny said that. I mean, but but true. Jenny, she stood her point. She said, I think he liked you as a person. He loved you as a person. Yeah. Okay, loved your loyalty and everything. But in terms of, I want you to be my lover. My wife. And and my girlfriend, even. It was really a no. And you really kind of forced him into that. I'm sorry. You came here talking about his potential. You basically kind of bastardized yourself just to, for this man to give you crumbs. Giving this man Xbox, bought him a necklace, took him back several times. Talking about how, I mean, we would have all been calling the police. Okay, if a man was doing what if a man was doing what to Kim a woman doing. what Kim was doing to Usman when she was like, some I Nigerian want Nigerian girl, yeah, we would have all we been, been like call the arms. police, yeah. sexual assault, whatever. Yeah, but she was literally there or saying that I want sex. Why don't you give me sex? Yummy, yummy, yum. like pushing up on him. This man did not want to be with. Anyway, I'm not going to get into what how she looked like in her little nighty, but I just. <laughs> I'm not even going there. Y'all go back and watch the clip. I'm trying not yeah. to be mean, but I, mean, I think that was. It yeah, was. It was uh, he didn't want. He didn't want. He didn't want. He her. was not. He, he was He was not feeling. He that. kept on. Yeah, he wasn't he really feeling it. He remember when she was standing in front of him yeah, and, he, and he went like this he <laughs> when he tried to move the nightcap. He was like. He wasn't mm. really feeling it. He wasn't really. You know, he just wasn't. He, he wasn't really feeling her like that. He was trying every which you way know? not to have sex with that lady. And I think it would have been great if she had remained friends with him. Just be friends. You can go and visit him. You know what I'm saying? It would have been a nice friendship, you know? Yeah, Usman, I remember that bedroom not scene. That was everything that you got to complicate with relationships, sex. You know, you told me something that was very... Um, interesting one time mm. you said every um guy that you have as a friend mm -hmm. you do not have to date them no and i think that is really important yeah. for women to know yeah just because like somebody you have a friend who is a guy who's really nice to you or whatever that doesn't mean you should go and fantasize about being with him no. or trying to see what will happen no. sometimes, sometimes it's just good to just have a friendship yeah a platonic friendship that's it um i've had a friendship since i was in college like and we have been best friends like for how long god it's been over three decades yeah. you know like some it's not all relationships that have to segue be into romanticized this romance and yeah stuff some friendships are just that they're just friendships that's it yeah absolutely you know and when you're really friends with someone you just you respect that yeah absolutely you know i just feel it's disrespectful yeah. You're friends with someone, all of a sudden now you want to make it into something that it's not. Yeah. You know, you make that person uncomfortable. And it's, it's also selfish. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So I feel, I, I never really felt like Usman was a scammer like that. I actually don't think he's a scammer. I just feel as though he felt, like Jenny said, he felt like she was loyal. Maybe the most loyal woman he has known. She was generous. Yeah. She seemed to really, really like him a lot. I, he was very touched when she, she proposed to him. Yeah. He said, no woman has ever done that for me. So, kind of maybe out of gratitude. But you don't want someone to be with you out of gratitude. Who wants that? Yeah, absolutely. You know? So, yeah. But, yeah. So, um, what else? I think that was it. Was that it? It was Ed. It was Liz. Um. Oh, Bilal and Shida. Oh, my God. Bilal and Shida. Bill, the way Bilal looked at Shida at one point, I was like, oh, I feel like he really, really loves her. You know, there was this moment, and I feel like I'm kind of happy Shida hung in there with him. Because he seemed as though he was really genuine. I even said that. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you are still hesitant with Bilal. I am very hesitant and, with him. I mean, I am a little bit hesitant, but I did see that, and I was happy for them with that. I was happy for her more than anything. And like she said, you are now the man that I wanted when I first came to America. That's what I had imagined. And she said, I hope you will keep it up. And that's the thing. I hope he will keep it up. He, you know, um, instead of him just saying the affirmative, yes, I'll keep it up, honey. He's, he's made some comment twice about we may all have different routes from getting to the destination, but we all want to get to that destination. So I was just like, I hope this man is not scamming her. He's going to get because so far, games. he has been the biggest scammer in all of this next to Michael. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But yeah. the way he looked at her, he seemed genuinely happy. And he has a really beautiful smile, Bilal, actually. And I was just like, oh my God, he's really cheesy. And looking at Shida with love. And I really, really hope for her sake, inshallah, it is what I imagined or saw, but you know, we will see. Um, I am, I have nothing to say, but I wish them well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I pray that um, Shahida gets we to what Muslimas she's looking. to be happy in love, you know, with a Muslim man who's doing the right thing. Um, so. Do I trust him as far as I can throw him? No. I probably can't even throw a 20 pound weight. So, Mm -hmm. you know, I really can't trust him at all. So, I would just say, um, I pray for your patience. Mm. Because, sister, you're going to need it. (laughs) That's all I I mean, she has been patient. I just, I just, the whole thing is exhausted. I just, I would not have married him alone. I wouldn't. It's as if, finally, but that's her, that's her man. That's her journey. Maybe God is trying to make it work with them. I mean, who the hell am I to judge? It just, it couldn't be me. But I wish them well and may really, Allah really bless their union. And may I hope she you have not, a little baby yes. in your business. And oh, but he said he's going to do joint account. Yay. Let's, Finally, I'm happy he came here, saw all the men. See, that's why you got to change your circles of weirdos. Yeah, Chris When you're in a circle and you have this weirdo say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you say, they're saying yes. Change your circle. That bug-eyed black woman hater mm-hmm. he needs to get out of his circle oh yeah you mean the he, chris yeah that idiot yeah he, he yeah. got to go yeah but so, yeah you know i just feel like all of them saying you gotta have a joint account what is this made him look silly and i'm sure he's thinking other people watching it probably people i work with you know what i'm saying will be looking at me like silly like yeah. wow you don't have a joint account with your wife so Something good came out of this. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I do think she should have a separate account. I think also, there should be a joint account. I have no issue with, you know, if I get, whenever I do get married, inshallah, on one day, you have a joint account with your spouse. Mm-hmm. You have your separate account. Yeah. And I have no issue with him having his separate account. Yeah. That's fine. Because I'm going to definitely have mine. Yeah. And I'm not the account that mine. you brought into the marriage. Keep that. And then get a joint account. I think that's how all marriages should be. I think so. You know what I'm saying? And if the man is providing, he should have a joint account for you. Mm-hmm. So you are able to take money freely. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. But yeah, I think that was it for 90 days. And maybe you can be, maybe you guys can be blessed. Like um, my, my be- one of my best friend's um, parents, the husband paid for everything. They had a joint account. She came, she was a single mom. They got married, had another child and he was paying for everything and then he was like you know he was telling her i think in another 10 years we will be able to retire to you know north carolina um i'm almost there and she was like oh how much do you think you know you'll need and he's like well these are how much the house is cost and all the stuff unbeknowing to him she had been saving money for the past 30 years of their marriage and just putting it away and she's like, babe, I got you. I actually have money for that house. So we can retire now. And they did. 
Hey, see, that's so that's beautiful. the beauty of it. He took his job as a man, as a husband, seriously. seriously. Yeah. You know, and he did that. And here was a woman who had been putting money away. And who saw his sacrifice, who saw was his there sacrifice. for him. And you was know, a she was a single with mom. Him, you know? Exactly. And so that was such a beautiful thing. And he got thing. his reward they early. Retired. They got retired. his reward early exactly. for just being a stand-up man. Sometimes that's all you God have to do. You to do exactly. as a man. And then you a woman, can, she can be in her feminine energy and be there for you in a different way that does not take away from your position as a man. Exactly. You know? But that's yeah. you just have to do the right thing, Bilal. Mm -hmm. I am hoping that you continue to start doing the right thing. Yes. And, and I continue, hope it works like out. Like Shida said, like you continue. Stop playing games. If you there's no need for it. You have a woman to like this for there's whatever no need issues for you it. have. Exactly. Go to therapy, but stop treating that Muslima wrong. I hope mm -hmm. you get it together. Mm -hmm. Well said. All right. Um, but that's it. that's it. Oh, quickly, let's wrap up with Angela. Angela says that she will be filing for a divorce, but she doesn't know if she's going to sign. Angela, you're not going to do nothing. This man's going to come here. He's going to leave your ass, and it's going to be sad. It will be sad. It's going to be sad, but it's, but the thing because is, she's so you scared because she knows it. you responsible for him for ten years. Like, do not take this lightly, Angela. And let me tell you, he's with a American woman who's making him pay who for stuff. Will be advising him as to how he can get over on you using the law. Call the mm, police. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't He'll do be it, calling girl. the police on you left and right, and it's going to be some serious wahala. Don't do it. She's probably going to do mm. it because she said she has been waiting for this for years. So For five and a half years? Girl, that man don't love you. I don't really think... I, I'm sorry. I just I think he was a scammer from the beginning. I don't think I he know, ever, I don't think he so ever liked her. I don't think he ever really liked her. I thought he did. I really thought he did. I thought he grew to not like her. I, anyway, that's another... I'm not going to say it was on my mind. But yes, y'all. It's not okay. You should have yeah. just left her then. Well, he was trying to get to America. Mm -hmm. But it's Mary. And Amma. Leave a chance to like. Share. Subscribe. And comment. Down below. Bye. Bye.